Well, you've outlined a lot of your research in Unearth. When will it premiere in South Africa? The premiere is in a few hours. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, uh, we're going to premiere tonight at the uh, Encounters Film Festival mm -hmm. in Cape Town. There's another screening tomorrow night in Johannesburg at the Bioscope Theatre, and then another one on Sunday back in Cape Town at New Metro, and it's all part of the Encounters Film Festival. Okay. We're really grateful for the support of the local film festivals. It's, um, it's been amazing to come back and be so warmly welcomed. And then if, if South Africans miss this opportunity, we're having a big splash at the Durban International Film Festival. We're part of their Wild, Wild Talk Africa stream. So, um, and in between that, uh, an incredibly exciting uh, road trip that's going to set off through, through South Africa with the help of the Bertha Britsock Fund. Awesome. So we're really happy to be going to the people who need the film the most and um, get people talking about things that matter. I mean, yeah. I was a filmmaker who never really understood my place in the world or was hopelessly naive about the energy of my country mm -hmm. and the world. And having gone through this experience, I can now have these kinds of conversations. Yeah. And I think that that could inspire the everyday kids out there as well. I mean, we need to, as, particularly as young people, start being more responsible in our place, in, in, in our communities, in our societies, to actually participate and, and air our views. Because if we don't do that, things will just carry on as they have been. All right, well, what's next for you from here? If anything, Unearth has really inspired me to carry on telling stories that matter. Mm -hmm. And the last few days have been so incredible with support from all over the world. Uh, and the recent award that we won, to know that there is, there is still room for that. I think working in the film industry and making documentaries mm -hmm. is really challenging because it's not always a sexy story yeah. or it's not always a you know, big feature kind of creative uh, popcorn in the seat, mm -hmm. you know, massive Hollywood scale stuff. But I am really inspired to carry on working on these kinds of projects. I think the next series will be more about Africa at large, I'm working on a big piece about climate refugees in Africa, but not the traditional climate refugees, yeah. understanding how uh, climate change has led to political and economic instability and, and what that means for the people on the ground. And lots of really exciting projects that I'm very grateful to be a part of. And I think it's really important that South African filmmakers also inspire to do the mm -hmm. same because um, we have so much at our disposal and with the, the era of digital filmmaking everyone is a storyteller mm -hmm. and everyone can do it and should do it um, because you know there, there are many many important battles out there and many important topics that we need to discuss and yeah the slate is full at the moment I think there's going to be a lot of sleep <laughs> first for a week or two after this um, but really excited and, and, and so grateful for the many producers and, and partners who have come on board and, and giving this a thumbs up. I think that kind of support, mm -hmm. outside of any sort of the very little financial support we had, we was all an independent mm -hmm. documentary, that kind of support, knowing that you're onto something or knowing that you should carry on, means the world. And um, we, you know, I've been backed by great producers at Stage 5 Films and Zuti Studios to continue doing this. And, and we're really excited to keep waving the South African flag on the international platform. Great, Jill, and good luck at the South African premiere. And I wish the best of luck on all of those projects you're working on, and I really hope you get some sleep. <laughs> right now, <Enough>. this couch. <laughs> couch. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Thank you.